Hello and welcome to this and video on video. quadratic sequences. Now let's just recap finding the nth term formula for a linear sequence. And by a linear sequence I mean that the difference is the same each time. So if we had this 3, 7, 11, 15, what we'd do is we'd find the difference, which we call the first difference. And then do you remember that we said if the difference was 4 each time, we could just put that 4 in front of n and say the formula started with 4n. Now if we did this as a table, so we're interested when we've got the first term. Remember n is the position, so when the first term n is 1 because it's the first position, second position, third position, fourth position. Now if we had the formula 4n, because we saw the difference was 4, we put it on front of an n term, what would 4n give us as the sequence? Well, if it was the first term, it would be 4 times 1, which is 4. If it was the second term of the sequence, 4n would give you 4 times 2, which is 8. The third term would give you 12. The fourth term would give you 16. But we don't want 4, 8, 12, 16. We actually want 3, 7, 11, 15. So we've got this idea of adjustment. So what do we need to add or to subtract? So what do we need to add? What is the correction? Well, we need to subtract 1 to get us to the right term. If we had 8 as a term in the sequence, we need to subtract 1 to get, to get 7. If 4n gave us 12, we need to subtract 1, etc. We have to subtract 1 every time. And therefore, we established that because initially the formula was 4n, but we had to subtract 1 to get the right term in the sequence, the formula was therefore 4n minus 1. Now we can use exactly the same principle for quadratic sequences. So let's just say that we had the terms uh, 5, 14, 29, 50 and 77. And then what we would do, well we'd find the difference. Well this difference we're adding 9. To get from 14 to 29 we're adding 15. To get from 29 to 50 we're adding 21, etc. We're adding 27. Now you can see this time the difference is not the same each time. The difference here is 9 and it's 15. So what we need to then do is to find what's called the second difference, which means the difference of the difference. So what is the difference of the difference? So we can see the difference is going up by 6. That difference is going up by 6. That difference is going up by 6. Now, when we had this first difference and it was the same each time, we took that number of 4 and we put it on front of the n term. So we had 4n. We started our formula off with 4n and then went from there. This time if the second difference is 6, what do we do to it? You might guess that we're going to have 6n squared. What you actually do is you halve that number. So you need to halve the second difference. So you halve the second difference and then you put it on front of an n squared term. So in fact, we start our formula off with 3, half of 6, n squared. And that's how we're going to start our formula. So we're going to do a table like we did before. When is the position? We always have this top row with n in it. When is the position 1? We want the second term, we want the third term, we want the fourth term. So at the first term of the sequence, what would 3n squared give us? Now be careful here, 3n squared means 3 times n squared. It doesn't mean 3n squared. So you have to be very careful about Bidmus. The squared comes before the times by 3. So we want 3 times 1 squared, which is 3 times 1, which is 3. Now, what would be the second term of the sequence? It would be 3 times 2 squared, which is 3 times 4, which is 12. And then we've got 3 times 3 squared. 3 times 9 is 27. And then finally, 3 times 4 squared, 3 times 16 is 48. Now, we can see that these don't give us the correct term of the sequence. So 3n squared alone is not enough to get us the correct sequence. But we do what we did before. We think, what do we need to add onto this? What do we need to correct it by? So I do this little two-add row. What do I need to add to 3 to get to 5? Well, I need to add 2, don't I? What do I need to do to 12 to get to 14? Well, I need to add 2. What do I need to do to 27 to get to 29? I need to add 2. And the same here. You need to add 2 to 48 to get the right term. So therefore, the formula for the sequence must be 3n squared, and then we're adding an additional 2 to correct it. So the formula is 3n squared plus 2. Now let's do some more examples. Let's say that I've got the sequence. Uh, it's question 1. we got 3, 6... 11, 18, 27. So we find the difference. That's plus 3. That's plus 5. That's plus 7. And then the next would be plus 9. But there we find the difference of the difference. That's going up by 2. And the difference there is going up by 2. So we got 2. So you remember you halve that number 
which is 1, and then put it on front of an n squared term. So we're going to do our table again. I'm just going to do the first four terms. So when n is 1, we're at the first position, second position, third position, fourth position. So always start with this row at the top. And then we said that our initial formula was 1, and then we put that on front of n squared. So, or just n squared. 1n squared is just the same as n squared. So if n is 1, we got 1 times 1 squared, which is 1. 1 times 2 squared would be 4. When n is 3, we've got 1 times 3 squared, which is 9, and then it would be 16. And then again, we have this kind of 2-add row. So this is not the correct sequence. We've got this at the moment with that formula, but we actually want this. What do we need to do to 1 to get to 3? Well, we're going to have to add 2. What do we need to 4 to get to 6? Add 2. 9 to get to 11, add 2, and it's again, we just happen to have added 2. So this time, the formula is 1n squared, or n squared, plus 2. So we've got n squared plus 2. Now let's do this second example. We've got 6, 15, 28, 45, 66. So we need to find the difference first. So we've got the difference here is 9, then the difference is 13. Then the difference now is 17, and then the difference is 21. And then let's look at the difference of the difference. So that difference is going up by 4, that difference is going up by 4, that difference is going up by 4. So the second difference is 4. And then do you remember we halve that? So it's 2, and we start the formula with 2n squared. And let's just fill in our tables before. I find the table really helps. We have this n row at the top, where we've got the first position, second, third, fourth. So what's 2 times 1 squared? Well, that's 2. What's 2 times 2 squared? Well, it's 2 times 4, which is 8. What's 2 times 3 squared? 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 4 squared, that's 32. And then as before, we have this 2 add row. What do we need to correct it by? So what do we need to do to 2 to get to 6? Well, we need to add 4. What do we need to do to 8 to get to 15? We need to add 7. What do we need to get to 18 to get to 28? We need to add 10. To that, we need to add 13. Now, this is a bit harder because these numbers are now changing. So we've initially got 2n squared as our formula, and we need to add on whatever the formula is for this. Now, if we had 4, 7, 10, 13, do we have a method for finding the nth term of that sequence? Well, yes, we do. It's just a linear sequence. It's going up by the same number each time. So we do our usual approach. That we're adding 3, that we're adding 3, that we're adding 3. So we know that the formula for this is going to be 3n. Do you remember if, it's a, if the first difference is constant, we take the difference, we put it on front of an n term, and then we imagine the 3 times table. So if we had 3 times 1, that would give us 3. If we had 3 times 2, that would give us 6. If we had 3 times 3, it would give us 9. So 3n gives us 3, 6, 9, i.e. the 3 times table. But we actually want 4, 7, 10. So you can see we have to add 1. And 3n plus 1 gives us this sequence. Let's just check. If we want the first term of the sequence, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. That's right. But we started with 2n squared. So we had 2n squared, and then we added this number, i.e. the 3n plus 1 sequence. And that would be the final answer. And you may want to check it gives us the right first term. So if it was the first term, 2 times 1 squared is 2, plus 3 times 1 is 3, so 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and we can see it works. So we've probably got it right. Let's do another one. We've got now 4, 12, 26, 46, 72. So we look for the first difference first. So we've got plus 8, plus 14. Then we've got plus 20. And we can see that the difference of the difference this time is 6. So do you remember that we half that? We half the 6 to get 3n squared. So we've got 3n squared. And we're going to have that n row at the top, as we always do. So 1, 2, 3, 4 will do. And then we're going to do 3 times 1 squared, which is 3. 3 times 2 squared, which is 12. 3 times 3 squared, which is 27. 3 times 4 squared, which is 48. And then we have this 2 add row that we always have. So always do the same method for this. What do we need to do to 3 to get to the correct term of 4? Well, we have to add 1, don't we? What do we need to do to 12 to get to 12? Well, we, in fact, we add 0. We don't add anything at all. What do we need to do to 27 to get to the correct term of 26? We have to minus 1. And you might see what's happening here. 
what do we need to do to 48 to get to 46? We need to minus 2. So that's what we need to add, or in this case, subtract if it's a negative number. Um, so we then, as before, need to find the formula for this new sequence here. We've got 3n squared, and then we're adding on this. We've got to work out the formula for this that we're adding on. So we do the usual thing. That's got a difference of minus 1. That's got a difference of minus 1. That's got a difference of minus 1. And it's a linear sequence, so we do minus 1n. And then we think, well, minus 1n would give us the minus 1 times table, i.e. minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. But we don't want minus 1, minus 2. We want 1, 0, minus 1. So what do we need to do to minus 1, minus 2 to get to these? Well, we need to add 2. Let's just check that. If we want to the first term of this sequence, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Add 2 is 1, and that's correct. But we started with 3n squared. So we took the 3n squared sequence and we added on this sequence here with this formula and that will give us the final answer. That's a bit of a harder one, isn't it? Right, I've got two test your understanding questions here that I want you to try. I want you to find the nth term formula for 3, 8, 15, 24, 35. And the second one I want you to do is 6, 13, 26, 45, 70. So you may want to pause the video now to have a go at these. Right, let's do this. So we first do the difference. We've got plus 5, that's plus 7, that's plus 9. Now, the difference of the difference is 2. So remember, we halve that and put it on front of n squared terms. So it's going to be 1 n squared, i.e. just n squared. So we're going to do a little table, and we always have that n row at the top. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4. So what would n squared be? If n is 1, it's 1 squared, which is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. So if our formula was n squared, it would give us this sequence. But we actually want this sequence. So what do we need to add on? We've got this 2 add row. What do we need to add to 1 to get to 3? Well, we're adding 2. What do we need to do to 4 to get to 8? Well, we're adding 4. What do we have to do to 9? You're adding 6. 16, you're adding 8 to get to 24. So now we need to find the formula for this sequence here. If we had 2, 4, 6, 8, well, we find the first difference. That's plus 2, that's plus 2, that's plus 2. So the formula starts with 2n, and then if we had 2n, that gives us a 2 times table, so it would give us 2, 4, 6, 8, which is this. So that, in fact, is right. But we started with n squared, so it's n squared plus that, and that is the correct answer. Right, what about this one? Let's do the first difference. We got plus 7, then we got plus 13, then we got plus 17, sorry, I meant 19, and then we've got plus 25. And then the second difference is got plus 6, we got plus 6, and we've got plus 6. Right, so we halve that, so it's going to be 3n squared, we put it in front of n squared, and we have our top row, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Going up to 4 will do. So we use 3n squared again, which we had earlier. It's 3, 12, 27, 48. And then we have this 2 add row. What do we need to correct it by? What do we need to do to 3 to get to 6? We need to add 3. What do we need to do to 12 to get to 13? We have to add 1. What do we have to do to that? We have to minus 1. To that we have to minus 3. And then we find the nth term formula for that. So that is minus 2. That is minus 2, that's minus 2. So we start off the formula with minus 2n. Then we imagine the minus 2 times table. That would give us minus 2, minus 4. But we don't want minus 2, minus 4. We want 3, 1. So what do I have to do to do minus 2 to get to 3? I have to add 5. And let's just check that. If I had minus 2 times 1, if it was a first term, that gives us minus 2 plus 5 is 3. And that gives us the right first term of this sequence here in isolation. But we started with 3n squared, so it's 3n squared. It's that sequence plus that sequence gives us that. So it's 3n squared plus the minus 2n plus 5, and that will be the final answer. <laughs>